So, hey guys, Monedi again, Apa from Skype, and uh, today we are going to showcase a solar freezer, solar freezer and its component, that is the freezer, the battery, the controller, and the freezer itself. So guys, these are 200 liters, there's uh, 150 liters, which is almost up to here in terms of size, uh, but you want to maybe show you what it comes with, what it has, what the package has, and uh, what you're going to get when you purchase uh, the solar freezer. I'm also going to talk a little bit about uh, maybe DC power and how it's going to power the, uh, the freezer. And uh, I'm going to do a demo. But what I won't do is connect the solar panel. Since as you can see, we are indoors, so there's no solar, there's no sunlight. But I'm going to connect it via the battery, which is a bank and uh, we'll see it work. So guys, come with me. Uh, so guys, when you purchase this particular setup, uh, this is what maybe you'll expect. This is a solar charge controller over here. There's a battery. We've chosen to use, uh, uh, when you buy this setup, let me come back again to that. When you buy this setup, these are the minimum kind of uh, required, the minimum uh, required to, to power the solar so the minimum you can do is 100 amps uh, amp power battery uh, so this gives you around uh, 12, 12 1200 watt hours and you get you can get 150 solar watt uh, 150 or maybe 200 those are the minimum that you can use for this particular setup and you need a charge controller so that not to overcharge the battery so these are the minimum requirements guys in some areas you might find uh, you'll need maybe a bigger a bigger battery depending maybe if the sunlight hours are maybe less if maybe you are having three to four uh, hours of maybe sunshine in a day you might need to have a bigger bank and a bigger if you have a bigger bank it definitely means if you want to charge the bigger battery you need bigger solars uh, so there's uh, some circumstances that will uh, make you have a bigger battery and a bigger, a bigger uh, solar panel. But in areas where there's full sunshine, these are the minimum requirements that you'll need to power this particular DC freezer. Uh, if you go bigger, there's no problem in going bigger. Uh, for example, if you're having more banks, uh, more battery banks, if you're having more solar panels, there's no problem with that as long as the system since this particular solar can work with a 24 volt and a 12 volt uh, as long as it's not a 48 volts then you'll have no problem if your system is big means you'll have more more uh, more days of storage just in case you don't have any kind of sunshine or maybe just in case you are maybe panels got damaged or something you can have when you're having bigger batteries you'll have uh, time to 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 use the freezer so guys i'm going to unbox them uh there's not much unboxing for the for the battery uh, here it is uh, maybe what i will unbox is a charge controller and a charge controller usually has the input for the solar and uh, it has the output that goes to the battery so this just controls the charging so that not to overcharge uh, the, the the battery and it's a quite simple ga gadget you can easily connect it you don't need much much to go about it and uh, these days they're actually coming with usb so you can easily charge maybe your other devices just in case you'd want to charge maybe your phone or something like that so guys this is a 20 amps uh, controller uh, can be used in a 24 24 volt setup or a 12 volt setup also so guys you'll need this but since we are indoors i'm not going to connect this particular charge controller but i'm going to do a demo with the battery let me just keep this on the side so guys here's the battery and uh, i'm going to unbox the freezer so guys this is a 200 liter freezer there is uh, 151 it's a bit a bit smaller in size This is the back side, that's how it looks from the back. 
and there's a front. So they come in two different colors. There's this gray, I don't know if I'm going to call it gray, dark silver, or is it dark gray? But you tell me on the comments there. But uh, it also comes in white, plain white. And uh, that's it. I don't know if you're able to gauge the size of this, but uh, this is what it comes with. It has these sliding doors that will be able maybe to, to help you when you're getting your food or anything that you're getting inside. It has a small, small compartment over here and uh, it comes with this particular cooler, cooler pack. Eh? This is called a cooler pack. It usually has some liquid that usually retains the cold for about, I think, four hours after everything is... Maybe when you're disconnected, it can be able to retain some some heat for around uh, to retain the cold for around four four hours. So it comes with a cool pack. Uh, it, is, it is a user manual. Has like a small car compartment over there that maybe uh, you can put your precious kind of things over there. Uh, so it has the user manual. It comes with also some keys and all that. Something else you're going to get is a connector. Maybe this is the one that is going to tell you that this is definitely a solar freezer because these are clamps for the battery and uh, the terminal for the input. Uh, let me just see how long the cable is. But it's usually recommended not to. To have a so long cable, maybe when you're... The cable should not be too long eh? when you're trying to... When you're connecting... Uh, the freezer to the battery. The cable is not supposed to be long. This is about one and a half, one and a half meters. So you get this when you buy it. Uh, it also comes with uh, the handles over here, which usually has the key. This is usually actually mounted over here. But I'm not going to mount this one. Uh, but that's about it, what it comes with. So I'm just going to power it on so that you guys can see truly that it's being powered by solar or battery. Uh, this is quite good. Actually, this particular freezer, you can, you can turn it up to be a deep freezer and you can also use it as a fridge. So you can use those, those two settings over there. And uh, there's a terminal to connect, to connect the particular connect this particular port as easy as that and uh, when it comes to DC when it comes to DC you should always be very 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 careful uh, not to mess around with the terminals eh? because if you mistaken if you mistake the, the polarities of the battery you might end up damaging the your appliance over there so you should always be very careful. You put the red to the red and the black to the black. So guys, let me do that. Once it's connected, guys, as you can see, the light has already gone on over there. And you can feel the, the compressor running. Let me try to get you closer to it. You can feel that the, the fan is running inside there and uh, as you can see the light is on and uh, also the controls over here the controls over here it shows that it's running and it has power so guys this is a this is a solar freezer and uh, these are the minimum requirements i'm going to also unbox the, the, the solar panel so that maybe you can be able to see the solar panel but basically this is a complete setup of a solar freezer so the guys is an off-grid you literally don't have to have uh, any kind of electricity in your home you don't have to have any kind of electricity so if you're living like far or if you do want to be totally off-grid in terms of a uh, freezer this is uh, one of the best solutions that you can do uh, for the solar freezer. So guys, see you in the next video. We're going to uh, do some more videos on different products. Remember we are doing 
we want to showcase everything that is on skype.co.k so guys kindly follow us and uh, if you have any questions about this particular setup you can always ask you can always ask uh, the comment section and also subscribe not to miss any other videos that you are going to do uh, on different kind of products and uh, yeah so guys see you next time but uh, let me finish by unboxing the, the solar panel over here If the video was impactful, kindly give us a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down here. And if you like more of our content, kindly subscribe over here and don't forget to hit the notification button.